What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. A welcome to the show, booty booty, Papa de ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> I really lost it. You, you, I lost it right right away. You, you thought you had an idea. I, I had the beginning. You thought you had an idea. And then Welcome I think what happened. Welcome to the show. And then it, you went booty booty. Pause. Booty booty just threw you off. You're like, that's too much booty. That's too much booty. I can't think of anything else. Oh, boy. Welcome yeah. to the show, everybody. Yeah. 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 Booty booty. Oh. Rocking everywhere. Well. Uh, this is the Spitballers podcast. Andy, Mike, and Jason with you. Booty, booty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Brooks. Uh, might be time to go back to Bedingi. Yeah, it's been a minute. What did you close? With? You didn't close with Bedingi? Uh, I, I, maybe I think a, it was a bing bong. A Bading dang? Yeah, we'll have to check the I tape. I think it was on a Bading dang. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like it. Would you rather? That's a great question. And we are drafting the best game show hosts of all time on today's episode of the show. Thank you for supporting the podcast, leaving us reviews over on Apple Podcasts, following the show, Spotify, on Apple, or wherever you're listening. Thank you so much. You're wonderful, wonderful people. Most of you. Mm, most, mostly. Let's get you it going. You know who you are. Yeah, you know, some of you. Yeah. Yeah. Would you rather? Would you rather? Question from Robin on Patreon says, would you rather be able to snap your fingers and change outfits into whatever outfit you want with unlimited usage? That sounds pretty cool. Or snap your fingers and change, add, remove tattoos into whatever you want once a week. Oh, that that's... This is super easy for me. Because... If I snap my fingers, change outfits. This black shirt might have a collar on. This black shirt right. might not have a collar on. This black shirt might have a slight color. You might have two variant. collars. I mean, the, the, I, my wardrobe <laughs> is pretty much the same thing every day. So, uh, and and I don't want it to change. It's like, oh no, with this superpower, you could just snap your fingers into anything. I don't look good in anything else. It's black and black only. But you could like go into suits, bathing suits. How do you know what gym you look clothes? good in? Well, I have seen myself. <laughs> just, have, there's this device yeah, called a mirror. <laughs> but you're probably, I mean, you're probably wrong though. You, you you probably look good in other stuff. You just don't believe you do. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Yes. And I think. And I'm the holder. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I like. Black. Black. I like the slimming qualities. Um, I like the uh, slimming sl- qualities. <laughs> I like the uh, breast reduction oh, effects no. of a black T-shirt. Um, you know things like that. You it's, know, just normal things. You see, for me, I would so quickly and easily take the wardrobe change one because uh, you know the convenience of being able to snap your fingers. It's pretty awesome. And and gossip, I heard, gossip yeah. I heard gossip too, yeah. man. I just let him off the hook, and I don't even know what other word I was gonna say. I Jossum. think you were talking about Ryan Gossum. <laughs> it just made me think of the old street sh- sharks. Street sharks, yeah, yeah. Jossum, dude. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, I I also think about this like uh, in relation to being able to put warm weather clothing on. I just hate having to put on all the stuff. If you go out in the snow or you're out where it's cold. To snap your fingers, right? It's I, just all on. Jason, uh, this is going include. It's gonna include your shoes, your shoes and your socks. Ooh, all right. No <laughs> bending over. Yeah. No holding my breath. That's what, I thought you meant for different types. <laughs> hold of on. Like, hold on. Wait. You wait. Hold, you you, you, you don't hold, have. You're telling me you don't have to hold your breath when you put your socks on, Mike. You hold your breath when you put your shoes on. Oh my god. Just my socks, really. <laughs> Just like a, it's not so much of a holding of the, oh, of the breath oh, 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 oh. as it is Welcome like to the party. not being able to breathe. <laughs> right, right. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's a forced hold of the breath. Okay. Wait, what the heck is going on? Wait, wait, you can't put the, your legs up? 
Yeah, that is if, correct. Well, not if they want to live. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, I Hold can't. on. Hold on. To pivot? Now pull your reach your hand for your foot. Oh my god. All that's right. A, this is I'm never sorry. Happened. I feel like what I You think I was making this up? I don't know. My I just shame? Seem, it just seems so easy to me. Oh, don't do. <laughs> Mike? <laughs> I had to stop and ask. Okay. I um, wasn't sure if there was a bit happening. When he uh, said it includes your shoes, I just thought he meant that as a fashion thing. Like you get sweet kicks every time no, you it, snap your fingers. Haven't you seen when we go and we're playing uh, pickleball? Haven't you seen <laughs> his industrial sized old man uh, awesome. shoehorn? Oh, dude. This thing, it's like a three foot shoehorn. I got it at home. I got it at this pickleball palace. I don't put my shoes on without that shoehorn. In fact, you are blessing me right now. Because I am, after we record the show, I am leaving yeah. on an airplane for a little vacay. When you almost... And I did not currently pack my three-foot shoehorn. Do you have a suitcase that can fit? Does that thing come back in if... the metal detector? Beep, 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 yeah. beep. It oh, is it would. full metal. This is no cheap plastic Ikea one. Wait, so it does. They s- Sir, what? what? What could you need this three-foot shoehorn? Oh, you're, I... you're just 5'10". You don't need a three-foot shoehorn. No, I can't bring this carry-on. This is a straight-up weapon. Yeah, they would. This has to be in checked luggage. Also, yeah. it could only fit in the largest of bags. But thank you, because I do think my bag will fit it, and I will try to bring it. How far away are you from getting, yeah. getting the sock thing? <laughs> the what? I, the so- the, I know the, what he's saying. <laughs> I know what he's saying. The sock thing <laughs> means- the so- There's a sock device. The thing that stretches itself yeah. open and you stick your foot in? It's for old people. Uh-huh. It's for people who are unable to use their body. And I will say this, Mike. <clears throat> I've looked- <laughs> Now the uh, current uh, we got we know what to get Jason for his I was birthday. Saying May. We got to put us yes and no yes and no. The current uh, t- technological advancements in having your socks put on for you are inadequate and ugly, and they just look they're 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 a bridge too far for me right now. Aren't there people that do no socks and slip-ons? Yeah, but then they have stinky feet and stinky shoes. Eh, sometimes. Yeah. I think if you wear if you wear shoes without socks, you it's have called, stinky feet. If you think you the, don't, then everyone around you thinks you do. <laughs> the sock aid, easy on and off stocking slider, by Vive, easy sock assist. It's for elderly assist, mobility support, and injury recovery. Yeah, like I'm super injured. My <laughs> I've pride. Been, I've been recovering for years. <laughs> See, I, I have or pregnant. I already yeah. have a better device. Wait, you've been, you have a better sock device? Yeah. Are you inventing something? No, well, no. I mean, I I created. It's your children. It isn't is it? absolutely. Oh my children. no! It's absolutely my children. You make your children put your socks on? I let. I let. Them. No. no. Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, Jersey knows. I'll I'll just uh, I'll jump on the couch, throw socks in her face, and she puts them on for me like I'm a little baby doll. Yeah. But Can that, you okay, no. hit the panic alarm? Okay, but that is not a let. I I know obviously okay. that All is right. like I'm a little baby doll. <laughs> this show has gone sideways. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I'm yeah. sorry, so you're doing guys. which one? I'm taking tattoos and will be so cool. <laughs> Rock them sleeves. Yeah, do you kick your feet around like a baby when that happens? <laughs> yeah. Do you fight them? Uh, yeah, I mean I I use a uh, bottle and a, okay. you know, a little baba. All right, uh, Mike. Which one do you want? Do, do you would you value genuinely since you're the tattooed man, right? And I've often had those uh, rom- romanticized moments where I'm like, oh, it'd be cool to have tattoos, right? But it's never really, it's never really sunk in for me. Like I don't have anything against them. I would totally get. I, I feel like my personality doesn't match tattoos. And then I think if I got a tattoo, like I've I've never had something I want so badly that right. I want a tattoo. Yeah, that's fair. And I was like. If you could, would you like to rotate your tattoos? Yes, that would uh, be cool. Yeah, that would be that would be amazing. Is and, that because you have some you wish you didn't have anymore? Uh, you you have ones where you're like, yeah, I'm just kind of over this. And, okay, but the process, like your of, Creed tattoo. Yes, that <laughs> one especially the I heart Scott <laughs> Stapp. That <laughs> didn't it did not age well. Although we're coming, you back. took me higher. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're coming back because uh, they're having a little moment here on it social media. It seems like it. Yeah, uh, but it's just, I mean, it they're expensive. And they hurt so, so much. To get them on. Oh, yes. Yeah, I guess I haven't really. Oh, oh man. It it, it hurts. So, man. Uh, it, the, and there's, I know there's tough people Is out there. Is there a spot it that, doesn't, oh, yeah, there's that doesn't hurt, though? 
Uh, there's spots. like you're like if if you were to go get a tattoo pain free, it would go right. There are spots that hurt less. There are no. It cannot be pain free because it is a, a needle. It is a well. It is one to many needles going in and out of the top layer of your skin like thousands of times I, a second. I just saw an electron microscope and it showed your oh, skin yeah, that's how it works. so really? close when a needle's going in. Really, and it's just a gaping hole. Oh, awful. I it's disgusting. I thought this was going to be exciting, and I thought I wanted to see it, and I no longer want to. Have you guys? Do you guys? We're we're, we're football uh, fans uh -huh. here. You guys know about Dak Prescott's tattoo, his leg tattoo? I don't. He has this. Does yeah, he, he got put under. Yeah, he has. He got put under for like eight hours to get this crazy. He's got like a photographic leg. Is this what the is this what the super wealthy do? Apparently, you go, you have doctors put you under, so you're like, it didn't hurt me. It honestly shocks me that the team would let him do it. To get put under, it doesn't come without risks. Yeah, I guess that's fair. You know what I mean? That's like anesthesia is a risk. So it's like yeah. eight-hour anesthesia is a big risk. Hmm. Maybe not a big risk, but a risk. I mean, I, if I'm Dak Prescott, I don't think I'm telling them. <laughs> well, I think they notice. When, well, yeah, but afterwards you but just it's say, too late. All right, so tattoo. I'm doing the, the outfits. You guys are tattoos? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going tattoos. Ben, Both are great. Ben from the website, would you rather have all of your food be packed with flavor – but always have the consistency of oatmeal or all of your food be textured appropriately for the food, but be extremely bland and flavorless. Wow. So it, I'm eating, I'm eating mush, mush, but it tastes like steak and potatoes or what, something. Yeah, whatever you want. Like it can have a, a rich flavor. You know, it's like basically you open your pantry and you have a, a kajillion instant oatmeals of every flavor that you want. You can okay, just pick right. out whichever one you want, but you're oh, always that's a good e idea. Yeah. You're always eating oatmeal. Or you can have whatever texture you would like and it's bland and flavorless. See, and this is super easy answer. I mean, it should be the flavor. You of should go with the flavor. The, flavor. The, the funny thing is is that like I like oatmeal raisin cookies or oatmeal cookies. I'll put oats into smoothies and stuff like that. If you make me a peanut butter oatmeal smoothie, I'm cool with that cold. I legitimately don't eat oatmeal because of the texture. Yeah, there sure. are like I actually people. dislike the mushy hot mush. Everybody does. Really, well, I thought does, people eat oatmeal. It doesn't bother me. Well, I'm I'm just saying like it's not. I don't eat oatmeal for the mush. Like that's not like man. I could go for some mush right now. Um, I think oh I I want a brown but, sugar. But I mean it's like there is a difference syrup. like that mush versus. Like mac and cheese is mushy, but it's delicious. You can, and but you it, don't even think you about at least it. get to chew it a little bit, though. Oh, it's because it's pre-chewed. Yeah. Pre-chewed yeah. mac and cheese pre is not as good. Pre-chewed mac and cheese is oatmeal. Yeah, <laughs> but bland food is and flavorless. I mean, that's what's the point? Think about we already kind of have this, right? Like you don't want mush, so you want like a real nice texture, maybe a little crispness, maybe a little crunch. Think about broccoli. Think about cauliflower. The texture is great. If those were delicious. Oh, like they were uh, like chips. Yeah, if they tasted like potato chips, broccoli would be the number one thing on the planet. It'd be like, oh my gosh, this is so great. Oh man, the but farts it we'd have. Good. It doesn't taste good. <laughs> cauliflower, people don't like it because it doesn't taste good. So would you rather have cauliflower or oatmeal? I like oatmeal. I'll take oatmeal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I want it to taste good. Yeah. All right. Peaceful Samurai from the website says, which of these difficult 30-second challenges would you rather attempt for $100,000? Would you rather do 30 pull-ups <laughs> in under 30 seconds? Jay, Jay, you're knocking that out? I can't mm. do a pull-up. That's a, I've tried recently. That and he's is, talking I, about his socks. <laughs> right. The children have to do the sock pull-ups, as we call them. I can't do that one either. I, oh, I can man. do pull-ups. And I could do 30 of them, but I would need a lot more than 30 seconds. You could do 30 pull-ups? Oh, over a long period of time. I'm saying, I'm not, not 12 quick. years. No, I mean like 30 minutes I can do 30 pull-ups yeah, yeah, easily. Okay. I bet if you just want a minute. Okay. But but this is no chance. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I could probably do two in 30 seconds. Yeah, if I had one year to do 30 pull-ups, I couldn't do it. Do 35 <laughs> sit-ups in under 30 seconds. That's okay. much more doable. I'm yeah. guessing that's just a, a speed thing. 
What right. is? Because it's like I, I we like everybody could do thirty five. Yeah, you can, you can make yourself. You can get to thirty five sit ups, but it's less than one per or one more than one per second. Yeah, fifty push ups in under thirty seconds. What are we talking about? That's not doable. No, what, that's too many. What was uh? Can't do thirty and what did we have? And 30. No, no, no. We just Papa Josh just did a challenge in the office. Where he did fifty. Was it three minutes? No, no, no. He did. A, a, it was a two-parter because it was it was a huge amount of push-ups in a certain amount of time. But then it was like fifty and thirty seconds. Uh, I I don't. Do you guys remember what we what that was, Al? I'll look that up. Okay, you'll you'll get up. Do we have a record in our of that? Slack channel? I'm sure it's there. But I I want to say it was fifty in a minute. Was it a minute? I don't think I can get there. I don't think I can do that one. Run two hundred meters in under thirty seconds. I have no frame of reference for that. If right. I run really fast for 30 seconds straight, will I get there? Yeah, that's, that's the question. That's the question. Because I, I can no run for 30 idea. seconds. Yeah, he did 50 in under 60 seconds. Okay, which he was able to do. Yeah, but this, Barely. Is, this is 30 seconds. Yeah, okay, this, is, so that's that, this is that's not possible. I think that one and the pull-ups are out. The, yeah, yeah, those are impossible. The we, could I think never, is, we could never know the distance one. <laughs> How, running 200 meters in under 30 seconds – that's impossible to gauge. So I think I have to take the sit-ups. 200 meters is about 219 yards. Thank roughly. you, Mike. Now I know. That's now, the one I'm doing. I mean, so I mean, so two, that's two football two fields. football fields. Wait, what? <laughs> two football fields in 30 seconds. Well, I was trying to think of a 40-yard dash. A 40-yard dash. We ran it in like six. Six, six to seven. 40 yards is 120 meters. There ain't no two football fields to do 200 meters, is it? I'm, I'm, looking pre I'm pretty a, sure a, I'm looking a standard a, track, I believe, is 400 meters, right? Oh, the whole track? So you got to go half, I'm looking at a, half a track in 30 seconds. A Google calculator right now. Meter equal, 200 meter equals 218.7 yards. 30 yeah, seconds? A standard track is 400 meters. Hold up. A meter is not a yard? No. Have you never seen that? So like a yardstick, if you flip it well, around. Wait, they're basically the same. Three, three, yeah, three it's feet. Yeah. Yeah. I thought a meter and a yard is the are synonyms. I no, those wait, meant, they're not. I thought no. those meant three oh, feet. Oh, because a meter no. is three point two eight yes. feet, and a a yard is three feet, right? Boom! I know what I learned today. Goodness yes. gracious, yard is three feet. Oh, that better be. Yeah. So three point two eight. I thought they were the same too. Thank you. I felt yeah. very close. Very close. But so two hundred meters exact. is six hundred and fifty six feet. <laughs> Okay, that Which hell. is 218. <laughs> so it's, it's two football fields. But I yeah. can't do two football fields in 30 seconds, I don't think. I, I think you could. Really? I, I don't think you make it. A 40-yard dash for us is about what, six seconds? It's yeah. Six to seven, yeah. So I'm not saying we can keep that but, up. But that's at a sprint. Can you sprint? How many how many meters did you say it was? 200. Oh, 200. 200 <laughs> meters. Or how many yards? 218. 218 divided by 40. That's 5.45 times a six second. Nope, can't do it. Oh, <laughs> there's no, even if I ran six seconds for the whole time, a six second, 40 yard dash the entire time, fast as I could 32 seconds. Wow. So that's out. I'm doing the sit ups. We're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're at the sit ups boys. Yeah. And so, that's, we're probably not getting that done. Uh, we're broke. Someone needs to hold my feet. Yo, for the sit ups. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Okay. You can't do the sit ups. That's not cheating, right? That's no. not cheating. Not at all. Or if they can't, then I'll shut the door now and I'll put my toes right under the door. It seems so much frame. easier when people do that. Well, and because it's like, it, it stops you from sliding all around. It feels like it's body momentum. Yeah. Hold my feet and I will still fail. We'll, we'll, we'll try. But that's the one for sure. It's the only one that's plausible? Yeah. 50 push ups in under 30 seconds is impossible. Andy just did the math on the 200 meters. It's impossible. Doing a pull up is impossible. So, yeah. Sit ups. Okay, hold on. We do have we have an update here. So Papa Josh did the fifty push ups in thirty four seconds. Ooh. He did them fast. Yeah. Wow. I'm if he did those in thirty four, like if You're I, gonna take that shot? I c could maybe do it. <laughs> I think probably, maybe is probably, he did he probably did it exceptionally not. fast. Yeah, I remember I, I'm gonna go with probably not, but I haven't possible. done that. I haven't tried to do sit ups fast. Since about sixth grade, yeah, since you were in the uh, PE, you had to do the, the fitness. Test. Yeah, yeah, remember those things? The presidential yeah. challenge or yeah. whatever. I I'm, weighed so little in sixth grade when we were doing that. I could have done pull ups for my whole life. Yes. I could have done it nonstop. Now, you you could but, literally flap your feet and do a pull up. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean it was like. <laughs> but during those tests, could you touch your toes? Oh no, 
That was I, the one. Because I was not oh, anywhere close. Baby, I, I crushed those tests, and I could not possibly get close to my toes. I cheated so bad. Oh, I mean, I crushed in your knees? that test. Oh, yeah. Because uh, you're like under the, the PE tier. Under the box? Teacher looks away, and it's like, them knees are up. Boom. I, I was there. That's what my I wore was. those boots with the spike tips <laughs> <laughs> that go up. I remember, like, I could vividly remember it on my elementary school playground when I went, and I think I, I hit the, you know, the pass mark, but I, I thought I had ripped my hamstrings. <laughs> like, like, how is this, how is this a good fitness test there, if, to get to this mark? I'm going to injure myself. There's a, at one point in life, it was like, if you couldn't touch your toes, you weren't going to be a functioning adult someday. Yeah. That's how they treated it. <laughs> All right, we're moving on. Hey, Spitwads, uh, we know the subscription world out there. There's lots of subscriptions. You can uh, pretty much get any random or unnecessary item on subscription. But my favorite kind is a product where I actually use it all the time on the very same cadence like my razor blades. And so we're talking about Harry's. And every single time I need a new razor, Harry's gives me a high-quality German-engineered blade right to my door and uh, they save me money and give me a better quality razor than anything I can get off the shelf. You can get them as low as $2 per blade at harrys.com slash ballers. Uh, we've been using Harry's for a really long time. It is my go-to razor. Uh, the quality, the price, the affordability, the shaving experience, all of it. It's great every single time. And the trial set that they're giving you, it's a $13 value, and they give it to you for just 3 bucks at Harry's dot com slash ballers it includes a five blade german engineered razor weighted handle foaming shave gel which is very nice and a travel cover get a subscription that saves you time and money with harry's get started with a 13 dollar trial set for just three dollars at harry's.com slash ballers that's harry's.com slash ballers for a three dollar trial set <laughs> That's a great question. Out of curiosity, Al, which of those four would you select? I think I'm going to try to run. You're going to try to run? I think so. After I just spelled out? I don't know. I didn't follow your math, but <laughs> I will say I Googled it, and it said the average time was 28 seconds, so I'm going to take that chance. For 200 meters? Yeah. Yeah, probably in a track and field, like <laughs> the average 200-meter dash the, at the, the general local population. Olympics. But you, but really? Really? 40 yard dash we were six seconds were we yeah i was uh, i was not six. i mean we i were, was slower yeah we were around six we might have been a little slower than that hmm all right well i thought you might go push-ups but you know but he's, i guess he's real fast mike from patreon when using a public restroom to pee and all the urinals are taken so you have to use a stall do you shut the door behind this you? That's a great question. What? It is actually a really good it question. It is such a good I, th I think about this all the time. Yeah. There is a right answer and a wrong answer, and what? I'm so happy to I, talk okay. about this. Well, I will jump in first. There's a right and wrong. Because oh, yeah. my mind is blown that- th Anybody th would leave that, it open? Yeah. Well, how is the? what are the benefits of leaving it open? Casual. That, it's casual. That right there is why there's a right answer, because- Obviously, you shut the door. Oh, oh thank goodness. Obviously, thank you shut the door. Goodness. But I oh, have. Oh, and Andy and Owl are on no. Yeah, because we know when we walk in there, one, you shut the door. They don't know what you're doing in there. They might think you're pooping, and they don't know. Does that, it matter? Well, you'd like to let them know it's going to be quick. Am I right, Al? Absolutely. And okay, okay. You don't and shut the door when you walk up to a urinal. Thank you. And that's the other no thing. there's no door. But, I mean, I've got more protection if without a back door. If there were a door at a urinal, I would close the door. You know what else I don't do? I don't walk right up next to someone using a urinal yeah. on accident <laughs> because I didn't know they were in there. You're yeah, worried I, about someone coming in from behind. Oh, I've been that person. I've gone and walked and you don't you know I'm not Yes, you can look under a urinal and see if their legs are there, but I, That's call nasty. me crazy, I don't do it. That's invasive. So I walk into a bathroom. It's a good point. And I've got to use I got I need to go poop. You want to let me know that you'll be done soon? Dude, just get done soon. I don't need to walk in and see you. That's the problem. You must, men, you must shut the door. I'm on team close the door. Thank you, Mike. I just why why don't you close the door? I'm just same reason. Just, just have it out. quick, quick and I, easy. Yeah, just just lazy. okay. I'm basically at a urinal. Exactly. All right. Another question. 
I do. I don't close the door when I pee at the sink. <laughs> but if it had a door, I'd close it. Okay, so Al, you're at home. Yeah. Do you close the door? Mm-hmm. If I'm standing up and peeing? Yeah. No. No. Do Wait, you, when you go into the bathroom at home, in my just, master bedroom? Nah. No. Nah. I'm no. I'm not. No. Just any bathroom. No. At, no one's home. I'm in, not closing that door. I'm not. No. I'm saying your family's home. That's fine. Yeah. That's all right. I'm not. You don't need to close the door. I'm not. This is I'm a not public dropping rest. trow. If oh, they no, no, no. walk by, they see a, but my back of my clothed body. This is there. a public restroom. Let's say you have, uh, you're having a party. Okay, and it's all men there. Now that's close. No, no, no. It's all men. Just oh. like at a public ma- restroom, that would Ooh. be all men oh, that could come yeah. in. That's you- weird. <laughs> yes, it's weird. You would never leave that bathroom door open. Never, be- never. Be- what if- I might. But Jason, he wants everyone to know it's gonna be real quick. It's I gonna might. Be quick. You would not. You would. No, you would not. If there were no mirrors. No. <laughs> in the bathroom at home. Just with angles. And it's it's. <laughs> I all you gotta probably do wouldn't. Is no. You open the door and no. you go, but you gotta keep your back to the door, even if it's sideways. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, I, I would do that. You're doing like a three quarter angle yeah. turn. I've actually done that. I've done the angle turn instead to keep of it just open. shutting the door that is made for privacy. Yeah, that's, okay. <laughs> I try to touch as little as possible in public restrooms. So I walk in, I pee, I walk out. I, <laughs> that is the only advantage. The only advantage at all to not shutting the door. You don't have to touch down. the lock. <laughs> yeah, he just walks in peace. <laughs> Well, he's out. He jumps. He jumps three times, <laughs> and they just fall down a little. Uh, well, here's another urinal follow-up question, because that's what we Which, need. Spencer from the website, is, this it, is, a good, this is, is it acceptable? Right. <laughs> yeah, this I'm is laughing because I've, I've heard so many people do this. Oh, man. For just strangers. And no. All right, here's the question. Is it acceptable to, f- <laughs> to fart? <laughs> to fart while standing at a urinal. I sure hope so. <laughs> Because I've ripped some big ones. With strangers? <laughs> Sometimes. So, so you think it's preposterous for me to stand there and pee in a urinal with the door open. Yes. But, but it's not preposterous for you to rip a fart standing next you to a stranger. Where if you can't rip one if there's a direct neighbor. No, I, if there's I, a direct I, neighbor if urinal. Is, if someone is standing right next to me, I'm not ripping butt. But I... I I will definitely <laughs> fart at the urinal. Of course, it's if no one's in the restroom. Of course, you can fart at it. You uh, can okay. fart anywhere. Well, well, where okay. else can I fart if not in the bathroom? Okay, but so what anywhere. is what is the amount of people where it, all this now it's if there's somebody in a stall with a closed door. That's and fine. I'm at a urinal. Do you let it go? Yep, absolutely. Because they don't. They don't know. They, they can't don't attach know who it. it is. They can't attach <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, but oh. then when I hear it flush right after, I'm like, oh no, no, no! I gambled and lost. They're gonna <laughs> see my face. Yeah, you don't want to attach a face to a fart. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's really one of those. You can't have people at the urinal with you if they have. If they're leaving the urinal, they're going to wash your hands. I might let it go. Okay. Well, okay. So there's three urinals. You're on the edges. Okay. There you is, really got a fart. There's, there's an empty one in the middle of you. Is it okay? Could you pull it off while you flush? Um, <laughs> you're flushing <laughs> and coughing. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's really uh, just a matter of do I know this person? If I know this person, you don't. This is a stranger. Okay, then no, I won't. Okay, because there there are there are fellas out there that if, the minute they <laughs> I've been in the bathroom. The the second a guy walks in, yeah. it's just yeah. <laughs> and you're like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Come dudes on, be letting dude. loose. Yeah, I've been, I've been that man. Now here, here's the question: If you're in the stall, if you're in the stall and you close the door behind you, would the fart policy change if the door? Yeah, closed? because it could be a poop fart. Yeah, you can fart no problem. If if you can't fart in a closed door <laughs> stall, then you then you're not allowed to. Fart. Now, if you fart in a closed door stall, do you wait for everybody that was in there to leave before you leave? No, I'm proud of my farts. <laughs> Clearly. Got any more brain busters for us? No, but this is, I mean, this, people don't talk about this, but people do it. We talk and about the tough stuff on yeah, this show. Yeah, we need to, let, that's why I was trying to get very specific with what are the rules. I, yeah. Because I I usually, I hold back. Owl, having had this discussion and hearing the other side, going back to the previous question, will you commit? To not being a monster and shutting the <laughs> door behind you when you pee in a in a stall. There's no way. No, no. You're disgusting, you pig. <laughs> okay, farter. <laughs> <laughs> farter. Yeah, because you fart. Guilty as charged. All right, Corey from Patreon. If you add a piece of fish to a hamburger bun, is it a fish sandwich or a fish burger? 
Oh yeah, this is why well, def- I, I know the answer to this. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if you guys want to weigh in. I mean, like a fish, if it's a fish fillet that's just sitting there, that is a fish, fish sandwich. sandwich. Yeah, hundred percent. If it is some sort of amalgamation, like you you took fish and you made it into a patty, that's a fish sandwich. Does it anyone could be a fish burger? No, no it doesn't. Anyone- yeah, you can do that. A salmon burger. Yeah, a does- salmon burger is a salmon. It's not a salmon sandwich. Do they is salmon that- salmon sandwich? <laughs> Do they grind up the the fish? Yeah, yeah, they do. If it if it is ground fish, then it is a, a fish burger. Okay, so ground meat is what makes it yes a burger. Yeah, and it's not sh- ground. It doesn't have to be ground beef. It's 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 got to be turkey. You ever had uh, a turkey, turkey burger? burger? <laughs> Boom! That was a big right, moment. I'm for learning Jason. a lot. Today. That was a big moment. <laughs> he just he just changed his <laughs> life. <laughs> He went totally silent, <laughs> you, but you could hear the brain going, t- t- just, just piecing things together. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, turkey burger. Huh? That's what that means. <laughs> That's right. The shape is incorrect, though, Andy. Thanks to stupid Wendy's. Oh, it's Wendy's didn't break the shape of a burger. Yeah, they, they just did. they're non-traditional. But my point just... is, a burger doesn't have to be a round patty. No, yeah. but a round patty can be a burger. <laughs> Yeah, so it's got to be ground. If it's it, if it's it, a fillet, if it's a, a a chicken breast, it's chicken sandwich. Correct. Have you ever ha- heard of ground up yeah. chicken yeah, in the patties? Can, yeah, you can you can get ground. I've done a ground chicken patty. They call them chicken patty. Chicken chicken <laughs> patty. <laughs> they call chicken nuggets. <laughs> well, if you, you never had a chicken patty sandwich, yeah. Or no, I they used I to have love them in school. Chicken patty sandwiches. I love them. I don't know why it's a patty, dude. If you just called like a ground beef, oh, it is a ground beef patty. Yeah. So mm. patty's a, a word that's just not, we need to get that back it's out It's already there. been pattied down. It's a patty. And then it becomes a burger. What turns it into a burger? The patty. <laughs> what makes it a wagon? <laughs> the, the patty. Okay. Uh, Kim from Patreon. Is a oh, personal. Oh, we're back. Oh, yeah, we're back. Is a personal home toilet that is cleaned every six months more or less gross than a public toilet that is cleaned daily? Less, um, less, less. More. Six months, huh? More. More. No, it's less gross. I think what? I think it's What wait. You think it's one, I think the one dump ski and this thing is this thing needs a cleaning. I, You're I, talking about a home toilet? Yeah. You I'm, clean I'm, after no, every no, dump ski? No, no, I'm just saying no, no. <laughs> I definitely do not. But I'm saying like in terms of is it gross? The like, problem I mean just a, a day's use. But from, it's yours. I feel <laughs> like I feel like I can trust but it's my poop. <laughs> it's, I mean, truly, like that's a clean public toilet. It's not a clean toilet. It's a, it's it's a public toilet. The problem is, is that I trust the people inside of my home to put the majority of their ones and twos into the same location, and so the dirt just, just the majority. Well, <laughs> every yeah, now and then, I'm that just floor saying, comes like, a calling. whereas a public restroom, I feel like there is more of a. Maybe a little bit. Uh, you know how renters don't treat their house the right way. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, that's a perfect example. If you go into a public restroom, guys I mean, are disgusting. You miss? Are you cleaning? No. You miss at home? You cleaning? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you get some how, pee on the seat. How bad did I miss? You get some pee on the seat. I'm talking about the floor. Oh, I'm not cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, I got limits. Uh, when's the last but time when you? Is the, yeah, the, I haven't peed on the floor since I, sixth no, grade. No, yeah. no, no. Well, I'm not talking about like. I'm, I'm just saying, like, some splash or something. Look, things happen. Things How are- heavy is your stream to splash out of a toilet? <laughs> You're, I promise it has happened to you, and you didn't realize Mike's it. trying to go through his underwear. It's going everywhere. A very strong stream. Um, Yeah, I just think I'd rather be at my I, – I want it to be my family's DNA. It, I, exactly I agree. Exactly right. I can totally agree that it – feels but that is just that is an emotional response to something that should be a scientific if i could thing. catch the bathroom at a public restroom first thing in the morning every day then that's fine because it's been bleached i mean that stuff the chemicals going yeah, into when, those when you walk into a, ba- a public bathroom and your eyes are burning you're like, oh, oh yeah. yeah this yeah i like this <laughs> they care about health in yeah, here it's nice <laughs> <and> clean <laughs> uh, my eyes are bleeding yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're just getting poisoned all right should we draft Let's go. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Look, all of us have had times in our lives 
where we knew what was good for us, but our brain, maybe it was getting in the way. Uh, I, I can relate to the idea of like, I would try to fall asleep at night and your thoughts, they are racing. Sometimes it's stuff that you're actively thinking about. Sometimes it's that subconscious worry or anxiety or problems that you're uh, you're dealing with a lot in your life, a lot of responsibility, and your brain can get in the way. So we want to talk to you about better help. We want to talk to you about the benefits of talk therapy and taking time to figuring out what's holding you back. Uh, so you can work for yourself instead of against yourself. Uh, I've benefited from therapy in the past. Uh, it was a very, very important experience for me. And whether or not you've been in therapy personally, uh, there are benefits uh, that I can just attest to. Uh, my own personal testimony, uh, ways to learn coping skills, how to set boundaries, how to empower the best version of yourself, how to deal with issues that you're going through, including major trauma. Uh, so if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash ballers today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash ballers. The Spitballers Draft. Well, uh, I believe this was a Mike idea from a little while back. Dude. I don't remember. But the best game show hosts. We all have our favorite game shows over the years. I love game shows so much. Growing up, huge fan. Watched them all the time. Couldn't believe the amount of commercials. I mean, just unbelievable Dude, amounts they, of commercials. They gotta make, there's cash prizes. they got to make that money. I have the first pick. Yep. And this was really tough for me. Because there's a power two, I think there's a power two. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I this yeah. just we we were at lunch, Andy, mm -hmm. just discussing the topic. I wasn't there. You're saying? Yeah, you had, you had uh, already headed out, and us and the rest of the guys were talking about what well, we're drafting, and I'm like, no, there's a power two. And then Schneider's like, yeah, there's definitely a, there's, there's a, a power, power there's a power every, two. Everybody except for Jason, who doesn't have a top two pick, coincidentally. Uh, my say, my 101. Is not one of the power two, so I'm thrilled All with right. the let's third pick. pick. So get let's get it going. So I, I went back and forth on which one to take with number one. There's power no, two. No wrong answer. I went with true to true to my heart, true to what I watch more of, true to what I look forward to more of. I went with Bob Barker. Oh, yeah. I thought for sure you were going with the other power couple. I uh, I I thought about it, but Bob Barker to me, I watched a lot more Prices Right. Yes, I respect the run of all of these guys. Dude, that microphone. But Bob Barker, yeah, yeah I mean, that's, that's, I mean, you, there, we're gonna let, we're gonna talk about a lot of game show hosts. That guy's got like a, a signature accessory. It, it was just, was awesome. Uh, perfect voice, perfect show. Yes, um, perfect childhood. Every time I was sick, I was thrilled because I could watch Prices Right. Yes, Bob Barker, uh, he would have been the second overall pick if you did not take him. So I'll take the other power game show host. I will take Mister. Alex Trebek. There you go. Of <laughs> Jeopardy. Alex Trebek, uh, I mean, just stoic. See, he's I don't funny, know, very funny. Yeah, I, I don't know how much of this stuff he knew, but because he was the host of Jeopardy, I just was a child. I'm like, this guy, this is the smartest man alive. And he could roast people, like, just with pure wit, just, just absolutely dismantle these people. And they may not even have known that they were getting. Did you destroyed. ever? Did you see the one where the three Jeopardy contestants? It was a full category of football. Oh, those are the best. And it was you know the two, best two hundred and you know five hundred <laughs> yeah. and a thousand. All five. Yes. Dead silence. They didn't know any of the answers. <laughs> and he was just okay. Sports for yeah. two hundred. Oh it, man, it was very funny. He, so he gave him the business. So I look. Those two are one A one B. Yes, All right. they I just, are. I just All went right. with my heart. Now let's go. Who's who's the one on one here? I'm going with my heart. I'm not going popularity contest. I'm at three. You guys have the power couple. I'm not winning the poll. I'm going with who I love. I I have no idea yeah, what I name is coming. None. Steve Harvey, oh, baby. Oh really? Oh man, I can't tell list. you how much He's I great. love his version of Family Feud. I could watch social media clips of him laughing at people's stupid answers. Over and over. He is the one host to me that makes the difference. Like like Jeopardy is 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 very, 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 you know, Alex Trebek. He the the tie is buttoned up. So maybe you could say he he makes it. But like Bob Barker, great, respect it, love the show, great game show. 
Well, I think the other guy's doing just fine. <laughs> but there's been so many different Family Feud hosts. Yeah, there has. And Steve Harvey makes that show so much better. I okay. love Steve I, Harvey. I don't mind it. I yeah, don't mind it, it it's a good pick. He's he's on my list too. All right, now again, now, now <laughs> it's a teardrop. Um, now that the love of Steve Harvey uh, is gone and the respect of Bob Barker and Alex Trebek are out of the way, there is there's a whole other tier. And I said that I'm going to stick to who I actually really like. And so while I think there is someone, I know who Mike's going to get next because I know he loves this game show. He's probably the next most popular and well-known host. I'm going to skip over that po- that man. And I'm going to take Regis Philbin. Oh. Because who wants oh, to be man. a millionaire? Yeah. Dude. That was that peaked in our our era when that show was on. It was it was hot. It was like people would Yes. You know, go that to school and be so, like, Did it was you see it was a point in television. Won. That was so popular for a small window of time. Yeah, I mean, it was it was very uh, you know it's it's not a it's not a Price Is Right or a Jeopardy level or a Family Feud level. No, show. it's a great pick. I would have loved to have had Regis. But man, did I love him! You know, so I'll just say, and, and final he was, answer. He was Regis. a great Da-da-da-da-da-da. host because Millionaire has had several other hosts as well, but nothing like Regis. Well, Regis was the, his voice of final answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> are just, you sure? <laughs> yeah, he was also a goofball. Okay. All right, so uh, I have no choice here but to take Mr. Pat Sajak yeah, yeah. of Wheel of Fortune, uh, fame and fortune. I, I believe I think he's done. I think that I think he's, he reti- he's retiring this I, year. Yeah, I think he just announced that he is ending his run. Pat Sajak also another one of those hosts that when people are wrong, he like just walks over, puts the arm around him, and just like you know how dumb you are. Super <laughs> consistent <laughs> yes. too. I mean. Um, Long run. Hell, I don't oh, know how yeah. long, you know. Um, looked at it. It's got to be 30 plus years. Let's see. I don't even know what to It's just go. been a machine. When did he start? Probably well, 30 years He did years the whole ago. run, right? How long? Is that no. as long running as Jeopardy? No. It looks Wheel like of, he started in 81. 81. Wheel of Fortune was around before that. Yeah. Yeah, those two. When you see the promos for game shows in Chuck, prime time. I won't say his name. For... A million, yeah, yeah. There was another host, but all right. My my number two pick is going to be, uh, you know, there's 45 seasons. I'm taking him. I knew he'd fall to me. I knew no one else would take him. I'm taking Jeff Probst, host <laughs> of Survivor, baby. Wow, when that's a game that, show host. When you said that name, I went, who? who? <laughs> Jeff that's Oost? okay. That's okay. It's funny because you talk about having a moment. That first season of Survivor, yeah. was every single household in America. Uh, except for Jason's. Not my house. Um, not no, my, he was watching. My host. He was watching Steve Harvey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I'm taking Jeff Probst. Uh, 45 seasons, still going. Uh, great game show host. And then, <laughs> I guess that's kind of cheating, huh? It's, Do you it, want to disqualify it? No, no, it's a game. I'm fine with that. Yeah. I like thinking it's, outside of the box. It's, okay. it's a different format, but it is definitely a game, and there is a prize at the end. All right, for number three, I'll take. Uh, it's my pick still, right? That is correct. I will take the only old guy in my list. The only one from the classic. Like, Didn't you take Bob Barker? I mean, well, but he went into my generation. Oh, you're saying like I'm talking olden about times. Like a classic. Okay. An older yep. classic host right. okay. who went on well beyond uh, game show hosts to just be an icon, but isn't with us, and, and it's been a long time. But I'm taking Dick Clark. Oh, he's on. My, he was. He was. On my I mean, shortlist. Dick he's, Clark was the best of all the older generation. Well, you hosts, didn't watch uh, a ten thousand dollar pyramid. Yeah, he was yeah. pyramid. Yeah, he was. I. So here's what's crazy about that. Growing up, I loved the the ten thousand dollar pyramid or a hundred thousand dollar pyramid, whatever it was. I loved that show, and I wanted to take that host, but I have no idea who that host was. It's Dick Clark. I just found that out. <laughs> I'm learning so <laughs> you know, much today. You know, you have a you have an information machine was right it, in front he, of you. He was the one that also did the like countdown for yeah the. the uh, New Year's. That's all, all I know. He him did from. a bunch of stuff. Yeah, and he yeah. did the countdown to New Year's way, way too long. Did he? <laughs> yeah, he was he getting, tired a was he getting of off of the time? Yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah, his countdown two? was like, was that like eight p.m. Uh, <laughs> so he needed to go to bed <laughs> to dinner four p.m. <laughs> all right, so Bob Barker, Jeff Probst, Dick Clark. Uh, I'll have my Survivor fans uh, in, in my corner. Mike has Alex Trebek and Pat Sajak. Jason Excellent. with Steve Harvey. And Regis Philman, Mike, you're back on the clock. 
Excellent. So this, I, I didn't know if I didn't know exactly where this guy was going to go in the draft. I thought maybe Jason was saying it was, it was his one Oh one, but Steve Harvey absolutely makes sense. But so I will take our generation's true game show mm. host, Mr. Mark Summers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Double there was that show when you were a kid, assuming that you had Nickelodeon in the cable bundle. But <laughs> <laughs> that was I knew I could risk Mark Summers going through Andy because he was not a, a cable kid. But holy crap, Mark Summers, dude. The energy, the vibes, that guy had it all, man. Um, that's that's good. That would have been my my fourth pick here, so he would not have come back to you. Good good job. Before him and who I, I thought you might have been picking, because when you said my generations, I thought, you know, this guy took over for a classic show. Uh, he's been doing it a long time now. I'm going to take Drew Carey. Yeah, I'm gonna, that's, because that's the fair. price is right is a great show. Yes, it is. I would give Drew Carey credit for um, who's, who's line. Line? Well, anyway. that's my favorite yeah. part. Is I, you know, Which improv is, is I, near and dear to my heart. I loved that show. And who's that, line? Yeah. yeah, oh, loved it. Had a great run. Uh, he was definitely uh, a, a much better host when he was the host of that. It was it was a much better show. Um, so he's and now so I was going to go Drew Carey and Mark Summers. No, you are not. Pivot. Um, now I'm looking at people and I'm, and I'm starting to stare at the reality that I, you know, it's like, I want to go with my heart. I want to go with someone I really like, right. actually like, but I can't because there's no <laughs> one left like that anybody? I, well, no, I like, I mean, you know what? I'll go Jane Lynch because okay. I think she is hysterical. She's, great. She's very funny. She is funny. She has been a, Did she do who's not, no, or, uh, she didn't do who wants she, to be a mar millionaire. Uh, she might have. I feel oh, like a hundred people she do, did that. You she are did the, her own. You are the weakest link. Did she do that? No, no, that's no. Jane Lynch is in in she comedy had, movies. So Hollywood Game Night is what she is. Oh yeah, weakest. Oh wait, link. no. Jane Lynch explains the rules of the weakest link. Okay, yeah. okay, that's what I thought. Oh, so she was the the she did the Americanized version. I think so. I yeah, remember her. I from did that. not realize. That's that. a good pick. That's a great pick. Yeah, and she's so funny, just okay. as a person. Yeah, that's that's good. All right, so I'm I'm back up for my final pick. <laughs> no, no, I I I I have it narrowed down. Um. All right, I'm gonna go with. I'll I'm, I'm gonna go with Jason. I'll do uh, of the uh, I'll go with my heart pick because there's there's another one who I think has some stature, but it's a counterpoint to uh, Mr. Drew Carey. You could have taken him. I'm gonna take Wayne Brady. Oh, okay, yeah. Often on whose line is it anyway? But then he took over on uh, "Let's Make a Deal," which is also <laughs> that show is so ridiculous. It is one of my favorite game shows. But Wayne Brady, he bring he always brings all the uh, all of his incredible comedic talents and musical ability. He is very and, talented. Yes, he is incredible, and it's he does really really well taking over for that game show. That leaves uh, so many choices for me. <laughs> So many that uh, Dude, there's classic ones. I there want, are classic ones, but I feel like they're insincere picks, not from my. To remind you before you make this pick, okay, that Richard Carn was a game yes, show was. host, the Al Borland. The oh my Al gosh. Borland, he was he, so bad. He was yeah. awful. He had a really short. But you run. can pick him, and he is the Al Borland. So you know, maybe maybe uh, Peterman did Family Feud. I. Oh yeah, and um. Louis Anderson. Louis Anderson. Really? I, I actually really like Louis Anderson. <laughs> um, I'm going to close it out with uh, I'm going to close it out with Vanna White. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to take the other side fair. of the Pat Sajak yeah. long run for so many years. I will You've go Vanna White. The classics. Read your list, Mister Bob Man. Barker, Dick Clark. Well, Probst is not a, Jeff Probst. I don't know. Okay. I won't call that a classic. No, I agree. Not, but three out of four. All right. Uh, any other? Yeah. The the. Other another name I thought about going was Richard Dawson. Uh, he was a Family Feud host. He was the super smarmy guy. Oh yeah, <laughs> honestly, yeah, he, that kissed up everybody. Yeah, all the, yeah. All the, yeah he kissed. I, well, I didn't I put left, him in there because of that. I left him off my list because I assumed there was something He's, bad in the past. They're they're oh they're, I mean if the internet existed when Richard Dawson was doing his thing, I'm sure yeah. there are terrible things. But I mean he was huge, and he's also uh, in the in the movie The Running Man. He, oh. he is he is the bad guy host. So, I mean, it's like, I mean, did, he hosted The Running Man. Oh, man. I had Howie Mandel on the list. Okay. For uh, um, uh, 
Mets make a deal? Yeah. Or no? No, no it no, was no. Uh, oh, uh, the deal or no deal. The one with the yeah, suitcases, deal, or, deal right? or no deal. Oh, I okay, should have sorry. taken. He's probably done a few. I should have taken Stanley Tucci. What did Stanley Tucci do? The Hunger Games, baby. <laughs> He was a great host. That would have got DQ'd. Really? Yeah. Oh, yes. that, that's not a game show. He, he was the and, host of a game show. And on my list, I also have Monty Hall, the original host of Let's Make a Deal, and also has his own uh, little math equation, the, the Monty Hall, whatever it's called. I don't know. Um, I have Jeff Foxworthy. That was the last one on my list. With I, the fourth grader one? Yeah. Are you smarter than a fifth grader or something? Something oh like yeah, that. that was Foxworthy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I, w- I would have wondered. Could we have picked uh, like Simon Cow? I thought when you said Howie Mandel, I thought you were going America's Got Talent there. No, but... I, it's not a traditional game show. Oh, that's actually I mean, really interesting. It is Survivor, a is. Survivor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just, All right. Simon Cow definitely should have been picked. If I, I wasn't thinking outside the box. I like wasn't Andy. either. Yeah. Okay. What did we learn today? Actually, All right, I'll go for first that, for that one. Like, who was the guy that used to host American Idol? Ryan Seacrest. Yeah, he's Seacrest. the host. Yeah, he's oh, not that's a right. judge. Yeah, he's a judge. Seacrest would have been sneaky. Okay. Um. So I learned that Dick Clark originally did Ten Thousand Dollar Pyramid. I learned that a meter and a yard are different things, and I learned that ground meat is what makes it a burger. So I mean, you got all the uh, what do we learn for everybody today? <laughs> Maybe. I guess I learned Jason kicks his feet like a baby when he puts his socks on. I learned that Al Borland is disgusting. Yeah, what is a, he? What? A, yes, because he pees with the door open. Nasty. Yes, I do that too. Well, and he's also in disgusting. out and on with my life. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. Tell your friends goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out SpitballersPod.com.